for watching my first ever video on this channel and today we're going to be talking about a comic book I really do love but is confusing a lot of people. It's called Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows. No, not this one. This one. They are two different entities all together. And I'm going to go and explain that to you today. But what I do on this channel is I not only explain it, I draw while we're doing it based around the theme. So let's go and sit down and you guys can enjoy my doodling while I explain this. So a while back, I think it was around 2015, they started the, the Secret Wars event where they introduced a kind of concept which was called Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows. Now, for anybody that's just getting into Spider-Man, I don't think this is, um, I don't think this is a mystery. Most people know about this. But in the original comics, in the main universe, which is known as the 616, Spider-Man was married to Mary Jane for over 20 years. And then around the ending of Civil War, they made him give up his marriage to the devil to save his dying aunt. It, it's, it's really awful. Like, it's called, it's, One More Day was just the worst story. It, it's, it's bad. And I know a lot of people online just say, oh, you're just a minority or anything. No, we, we pretty much make up most of your fan base. We just don't read the comics anymore because, well, you do junk like that. So pretty much it was a well-loved romance that was taken away. And what they did for Secret Wars is they hinted at its returning. A lot of the Secret Wars series were supposed to become canon. So a lot of us jumped on it going, oh my gosh, did not become canon, even though it was one of the most popular stories. They instead, a few years later, uh, actually last year in November, they decided we're going to make it an ongoing series and started it off called The Made Spider-Man Renew Your Vows. Same name but they're a little bit different. And this is what we're gonna to explain today. If you haven't read the original series in The Secret Wars, Amazing Spider-Man Renew Vast Secret Wars series starts off as Peter Parker has kind of given up on being Spider-Man. We see him as a father who is raising a baby girl. He finally successfully had a kid and in the middle of New York, but horrible stuff is happening as an evil villain is, is starting their takeover and he is known as Augustus Roman, aka Regent. Regent has an ability, he has a super suit that can steal other people's superpowers. And when the Avengers go to do their last hurrah battle, Spider-Man is not there because he has to fight Venom. And, in, and instead of doing the Spider-Man thing where he spares his life because Eddie Brock came to threaten his child... He decides instead he does not want to take that risk and kills Eddie Brock in a rage. And thus decides, after finding out that Augustus Roman has won and killed off all the Avengers, he decides he's going to lay low and just pretend he died in the battle. So it flash forwards to several years later. Annie is now six years old. That's their daughter's name in this. Annie May Parker. Weird name. But, uh, so... She she's developing her abilities and so forth. So Peter can't really lay low anymore. And yes, they all find out that he's still alive. The villains want him to equip Breeden's super suit so he can acquire spider sense. Well, the whole entire family has to band together with what's left of the Avengers who are underground and they fight Augustus Roman and they beat him and send him to jail. And that's the end of the series, pretty much. Just hinting that later on that Annie would be able to learn how to do web shooters and she gets to team up with the power pack and the family just goes on their regular life. And that was the it of it. But it was such a high demand that they started doing the ongoing series. And the two series are kind of completely different. As Jerry Conway puts it, I think he's the one that said that, you know, the universe blew up and they're restructuring it. So we're restructuring it. Jerry Conway's the writer of the new ongoing series and he's doing a really good job. I really enjoy it. Yeah, it's got its problems, but what comic doesn't? And you can forgive it because it is so well done. It is very nostalgic, original classic Peter Parker. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about mostly the differences between the two worlds. If you have read the Secret War series, this is what you've got to know. So for starting off, not from what I know, none of the superheroes died during the region attack. Uh, yeah, he did attack people, but Jerry Conway has confirmed that the X-Men are still alive and the Avengers are still alive. And if you read the Secret Wars comic, the first people to go were the X-Men. Regent went straight after the X-Men first. 
So there's still life. So I'm guessing the the regent suit in this one didn't need to kill people to acquire their powers. Instead, he probably just like imprisoned them. It also seems to be a lower scale battle against regent because uh, they show a case where regent's headquarters were. And um, if you read the Secret Wars series, they, they got flying cards and stuff like regent gave all this tech to people and regent did not in this universe. It's it's very normal. So I'm guessing he was more like a kingpin or if he was higher up, maybe a little like his power was maybe something around like Dr. Doom and Latveria, lower tier. But, you know, they're like, eh, I don't want to go over there. We have to deal with that guy, that guy regent, you know, kind of like stuff like that. You don't want to deal with that nightmare. So pretty much he, he existed, but they managed to defeat him. And so that's what you really just got to know, because the whole entire story then, d then does a little bit of different stuff. Um, in the original Secret Wars, yeah, MJ ran off with a super suit she managed to steal while they were... Her and Annie went and infiltrated Regent's headquarters after they kidnapped Peter. So she managed to steal a super suit there and gained whatever powers were equipped to it and just started beating up bad guys along with her daughter. So they still kept the super suit in this universe, but instead of it just like latching off random people, Peter has equipped it to latch off of him. If you know anything about the comics, Peter Parker does not use all his Spider-Man powers. He doesn't use his full strength at all against people. He uses like probably around a good 50%. He holds back. He always holds his punches. So he, she uses the other half he does not on a super suit he built for her to protect for protection but she likes to use it to help him out and i can go into full detail about that later so that's what you gotta know about mj along with that she lives a very normal life kind of thing like in the or i think in the secret war series they stated that she was still a soap opera actress i mean who does that nowadays i don't know but um she was still a soap opera actress, and Peter was, was doing photos for the Daily Bugle, but was really doing, like, blackmail pieces, because Jameson in this world was an evil dictator that was totally signing with Regent. And I know most of you would be like, isn't that kind of what Jameson does? I can go into full detail about Jameson not being that way. Because <laughs> I am crazy, but yeah, I digress. So that's MJ, and... Peter, in this world, yeah, he still is a, he's a photographer for the Daily Bugle. Bugle's not as evil as it was in the Secret Wars series. It's, it's just everyday Bugle. And what you know about everyday Bugle, it's just normal with the, just a really sucky boss. So we got that going for us. It's very just nostalgic to the old fashioned universe of Spider-Man. That it's all the nostalgic feel that you wish for, and most people say this is this is proves that Spider-Man should be a family man, and I agree. I really do agree. It it's a really nice take to it, and I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Here's a small picture I was doing of Annie Mayday Parker. Her whole entire name is based around the two aunts, and. Anna Watson and Mae Parker both are dead in the series and thus they named her after both of them. Though there's one question that still remains, is she kind of like an incarnation of the original Mayday Parker? And when was she born? We actually do not have answers for that at all. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and here's my sketch. She's a little bit older I guess in this, but hey, what you gonna do? Uh, let me know if you want me to go in, explain more about Spider-Man Renew Your Vows or other comics or video games and stuff, and see you later!